episode of On The Judy, we have Dom Vos, a wonder kid of Fulham and West Ham. Don't know how you can be a wonder kid of two clubs, but we'll find out. Enjoy the episode. Um, so you've been playing football from a young age. Where did it all begin? Let's go back. Uh, Sunday Sunday League, uh, Tulsa Boys I was at. Tulsa Boys, I think my first team. Then I went Jason York Academy. Um, and from there, Palace Fulham. I think Palace Fulham, back to Palace maybe. Then a um, couple trials. Then next club sign that was West Ham from that 15. How long was you at? From, so you was at West Ham for 15. Was you a pro there? Yeah, I turned pro. It's my seventy birthday at West Ham. Um, so yeah, I've done about four years, four years at West Ham. All right, so you're at West Ham. What manager signed you? Uh, obviously it was youth, youth under fifty, under sixteen. So I can't remember, but youth team it was Tony Carr. I think everyone knows who Tony Carr is. Brought Joe Coles through, Freddie Sears, Lampard, so all these type players: Junior Stanislav, Zavon. Um, Dropped a few names, mate. Oh fuck it out! Don't fire today, any. Fuck it out. But um, yeah, so that was my youth team manager. Um, yeah, then that we went for a few managers: Zola, Avram Quran. So what's that like? Like Zola's most people's heroes. Yeah. What's that like? Like playing under Zola or training. I, I, I said I was I was only at 15, 15 so when he was in charge. So I, I I never trained with him. Oh okay. I never trained with him. I said, uh, yeah, I never trained with him. Avram Grant. Yeah, I said my time at West Ham. I was no. I was basically no one in the first team. Oh okay. Top pro at seventeen. Trained with the first team once. Like, but you're at West Ham, big London club. Like, your friends must be gas thinking. He's done, like, he's made it like um I don't know how other people felt um maybe I, I never felt I made it you know what I mean because like this is just part of the journey I, this, I'm nowhere near where I need to be I think I've been very single-minded from young where I've, where I've wanted to get to so I never felt I never felt I made it at being at West Ham, like, you know what I mean? I'm a kid, like, you know what I mean? Um, as I said, I don't know how my friends felt, you know what I mean? We, we, we're working in it, like, it's, it's just part of the journey, you know what I mean? So that's that really at West Ham. But, so what was it like growing up on the estate with all your friends at what? How did you focus straight mainly on football? Because me growing up, yeah, I got into some of the badnesses, like a couple of my friends stuck to football. How did you focus straight on football? I feel always wanted to do it. Um, my dad, my dad um, always kept me playing football. Um, and it was I, like never. I don't. I just don't think I. It just yeah, it just didn't excite me. I remember, like I dropped out of school in I think year ten, so I was training full time from fifteen, so. At 50, most people, you know what I mean? I didn't go to the the party days when people say going to shubs and all them things. Yeah, but didn't you feel like you missed out? Like, didn't you miss going to that? Like, yes weren't you no. ever tempted? Well, yes and no, but at the same time, no, I can remember, like, I grew up, like, West Norwood, but I moved to Croydon um, pretty young, maybe 15, I might have moved to Croydon. So all my friends was that side, Lambeth. So it was not, I, I was just playing football. I was going, I was training every day. I was doing half days at school. Like, so it, don't, there was times where I might have felt like I, I wanted to go down there, but my dad, yeah, my dad ne never really let me because I said, it, realistically, it's, it's from Croydon to 
West Norwood, Tulse Hill is, is, is not down the road. Um, so yeah, I never really got caught up in, in that. There'll be times where I wanted to go out, but as a whole, I never, it never, it never affected my focus towards football. Never. Okay. Um, so you you finished with West Ham. Where'd you go after? Um, West Ham. I'm not West Ham. I leave West Ham. So I've got no club for a period of time. What are you, what are you doing in that period? How are you keeping fit and sharp? I think, well, no, I always stay working. You know what I mean? So I've, obviously, I was probably, what, 89. Probably going a bit, doing a bit of Jamie Lawrence's, Damien Scannell's, just, yeah, like me, yeah, it's tick, like normal stuff, ticking over, staying fit, working out. Um, I think I end up being a Barnet. Well, yeah, I think the next club I signed up was Barnet on the Edgar Davids. Um, what's that like? Like playing under like Edgar, what's that like? Sorry, Edgar Davids, I don't know. That was, um, looking back on my career, there's was, was nothing in it. Like, it was like, it was nothing worth nothing worth saying about it like because I, I didn't play and i was there for only six months so it was like you know what i mean it was just like phew, yeah, i met some good people there but um yeah nothing like but ain't you like right that, that's that's edgar david's like man yeah yeah but again i don't know because yeah yeah no like i've never really been starstruck in general like so it was just yeah, once the initial maybe week or so of meeting and whatever, it's just football now, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, obviously, there'll be times about asking questions about things, you know, players he's played with, sick like that. But it was never, again, like a fanboy. Like I said, like, respectfully, it was at any's career. Like, he, he he's not the Edgar Davids that we we grew up on. You know what I mean? He's a coach, you know, obviously he's, his legs are gone. So he's not like do, doing anything that is like, oh, oh my God type thing. You know what I mean? It's more of a, you respect him as a legend and you, you, you take gem from him. Um, but as a, in awe of him, no, that, that, that didn't really, no. All right. So I started taking notice of you on socials yeah when you was at Colchester yeah and like I know a few names that are at Colchester it just yeah. seemed like a youth club like you were just always having yeah, fun yeah, obviously yeah. I'm not saying what you're doing on the pitch yeah, yeah, yeah. but in the change rooms and that like your like, camera's always in someone's face and that it's yeah, like yeah, a jolly yeah. up like how surely you didn't want to leave there it's like you just had fun fell at home yeah no Colchester was sick man Col Colchester was sick I went so I went Colchester I think I might have left Barnet I didn't have a club for six month period or so going into coaches on a trial done well end up signing a month contracts literally think not rolling every yeah. month no literally one month oh like literally oh. Like october to november or something so well um then done well sign another month to say the end of the year then from the january to nc i signed a six month there um but that period i think so coming there in November, played about 35 games there. Done well, like, done well. Um, the coaches were sick, man. It was, looking back, yeah, it was a fun club. It was it was funny at the time. We had loads of young players there. You know what I mean, it was good, man. It was a good club. It was enjoyable, man. It was definitely enjoyable. It, that was my first experience in a, in a first-team environment. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I enjoyed Colchester. Um I think I left a bit premature, um, new management and that. But um, no, nah, as a whole, I enjoyed Colchester, man. Little bit, uh, so. so now you're training part time at like doing a non league thing. Yeah. What are you doing in your spare time? Like, how are you keeping yourself motivated to to stay on your like focus on football? Like, what are you doing um, to keep you busy? At the moment, for the last two three months. I've gone, bo I, I box every day. I go boxing every day, Monday to Friday. Um, that just gives me a sense of like a bit of sanity, you know, it keeps me working. As I'm 
I'm used to waking up and training full time anyway. So this gives me the sense of full time, you know what I mean? Training. Um, yeah, just, you know what I mean? Just ticking over really. Yeah. Boxing. But aren't the streets calling you? Cause you've not, I'm not trying to put people in it, but I've, I've like, when I, when I left, yeah. My, the, the streets and stuff like I still had friends that were dabbling in it yeah, yeah. surely you know a few people or you might not you might not but surely like that entices you because it's yeah, I think uh, uh, it's that, that's always coming from where we're from that you're always going to have people that dabble in, in, in that world um, you know what I mean it's it's easy to go down that road uh, obviously I know a few people that have but ultimately I think it's it it leaves you with not many options, you know what I mean? It's, it's a dark road, that 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 that, that road. Um, I, I want to try my best to stay away from it because I think it leaves you, yeah, it, it, it ends one way, isn't it, kind of thing. But so, have you ever thought, ah, let me just quickly do this for a few, like, a few quid? I think these, I think we all, all have have thoughts that 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 go through our our mind. Whether we act on them, that's a that's a different thing. But I think, as I come from, we come from. We're always going to have um, the the people that have the get rich quick schemes and ideas. Um, uh, I don't wrong a man that that gets in dabbles in it. Um, it I, I get it. Um, for myself, I, I want to try my best to keep keep away from it. Personally, apart from your dad, do you have people that say you wanted to try, it, wanted to go down that road? That be like, Shut up, Don man, stick to your ball. Um, yeah, I think I think I've got a few friends that would, but ultimately, if I wanted to make a decision, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man, um, and no one if no one could stop me if I wanted to. Um. Yeah, my as everyone knows, my dad. My dad would always would want to steer me away from that path. Um, because again, he he's an older man than than us. He he he's seen he's seen how that 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 world goes. You know, seen a lot of people that that make some money, end up in jail. You know, it's just it's the cliches. You know what I mean? Mm. It it it's gonna happen before us and after us. It's it's just like yeah, it's life, man. Right. Um, you mentioned your dad. Go on. Um, for those who don't know, Go on. Dom's dad. From what I've seen, he's he's every. He loves to get. From what I've seen, he loves football. Yeah. Don't you like? He turns up to everything. If you want to learn how to man mark, <laughs> get a lesson off of Dom's dad. Like, don't doesn't that annoy you? Like, say you're at summer ball, your dad's there. I even watched a clip. Yeah. You lot played when Dulwich played Carlisle. You're walking in. This is like the players are turning up. Yeah. Your dad's behind you. Ain't yeah, that? Don't that, and that? Don't that? No, but to be fair, my dad at Dulwich, um, he was in with, with the board in it, so that's why he was always at Dulwich. But as I said, that my dad, um, no, that like, growing up, yeah, it might have been a bit annoying. But as I've got older, I've realised that's him. He's my biggest supporter. Uh, I wouldn't change it. Um, yeah, and I think everyone except that's Dom's dad. Everyone loves having a conversation with my dad. You know what I mean? He he's always trying to help help everyone, help the next gen. Talk to all 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 my friends about football. Ask how their journey's going. Um, so yeah, as I've got older, I've just learned to. It's my dad, man. It's just, mm. you know what I mean. But before people know you, do they not ban you? Like right, like where's your dad here? Like don't you get none of them? Nah, do it because everyone knows my dad. Like literally, everyone knows me. Everyone knows my dad. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's the truth. Like, like, it's gone past the point. It's not weird no more. Kind of thing. Like, like, or if people find it weird, they don't. They don't say it to me. But most of my friends I play for summer ball with, they all know my dad. They'll go reason with my dad and talk to my dad. So, so is it a case of you wake up, go and summer ball like, oh, dad, I'm going kickball yeah like obviously if I go play summer ball we're only playing local innit we're only playing Elmer's End Beckenham's I mean, that, my dad's a fan innit he, he, he likes to to watch me play he likes to watch everyone else play so it's only down the road you, you might come down and have a watch you won't come with me you might just turn up a bit later 
and um yeah just have a bushes man you know, that's good a lot of people don't have that a lot of people struggle with that but yeah, yeah. with your dad dead you ever feel any subconscious pressure like with your dad watching constantly um, like are you trying to impress him or are you just no as i said like there's a lot no it's off my head i don't look back at any particular moment i feel like i have to go extra harder because my dad's here i'll go and press him I've, I've never no i've never felt that because my dad's never put me under pressure you know what i mean he's never put me under pressure he's allowed me to to grow organically you know what i mean so when it comes to football he's never obviously he's always would, would criticize if i or critique me if i haven't had a great game but it would never be from a point of view of your shit what like you know what i mean it was more like yeah maybe do this do that you know what I mean? But as a whole, I never... Yeah, because I've, cause, cause I've been so confident in myself, I don't... I don't need to prove points to to anyone. Because if I have a bad game, I have a good game. And I, I know myself. And I've known that from from pretty young. So, yeah, no, I'm, I've been cool, man. I've been cool. Uh, um, so, what's your mindset at the minute? Are you are you still trying to get into the back into the leagues or are you just playing for the highest... be the highest earner at a club? No, it's never been that. I said I'm I'm currently playing for free. I've played for free a couple of times in my career, so it's never about the money for me. Um, the love for football that I have is is it's probably been to my detriment. That's why I'm so yeah. I'm probably emotionally scarred from from football, some sort of a PTSD. Um, so. I'm just. Pl- I want to get back to a level because I know I can. I know I'm still young enough to get to a level. Um, but it's just keeping my sanity to keep going to try and get to that level. Because I'm. I said I'm. I'm tired. Tired of football. Literally tired. But when you say you're tired, how can how can that motivate you? So you're tired, but then you're motivated to still go be a pro. Would elaborate on tired because what the work keeps going because I know my how good I am. I know my level. I know how hard I work towards it. When I say I'm tired, I'm tired in a sense of I got to jump for another hurdle. I got to prove another point. When I just want to play football, you know what I mean. Um, and I said, what can, cause, cause what, what, what else do I do? Do you know what I mean? I said, I'm, I put all my, my eggs into one basket of football. Um, it's all I know. You know what as I mean? A, as a lot do. So I, I said, that's why I keep going. But sorry to cut you, but, um, cool. You're saying you're tired and you've got to keep your mental sanity, but you turn up on a, on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They tell you the squad. You got man that on a Tuesday. You got man that's finished work yeah. and they're playing ahead of you. What's don't you think they're tired? So surely something no, no, you're not doing isn't getting you into that team. Um, well, I think this. I know, like yeah. you, you say you you believe your ability, yeah. but why aren't you playing then? These are questions I ask myself a lot. Um, but as I said, I can, as I can, I can, whatever level I've been at, I can. If you know my the my ins and outs of my my journey i can look at myself and be confident and comfortable with with how i conduct myself how i train how i play um that i should should be playing and look managers are always going to have the reasons um and more time i can't see a a reason uh a real valid reason to not play you know what i mean because i've never been i've never been at a team where someone's better than me in a sense of he's so much better than dom or dom's not good enough to be playing that's never been a that's never been a factor i think go to any club i've been at um and if we spoke to individuals there and say should dom be playing i think majority would say Dom should be playing um but since I've since I probably left Wrexham most of the clubs I've been at 
the style have, have hasn't suited me, maybe, um, or what what they say they're selling, they're not selling. Um, you know what I mean? As I said, I've been at clubs where a man just saying, Dummy should be playing, but the team not good enough for you, for you to play. So 90% of people say you should be playing, but you're not. Like, when is it gonna when's it gonna hit you and think like maybe it is me? Like, forget are you mentally strong enough to look at yourself in the mirror and say, Am I am I actually good enough to to warrant a spot in a plate like the way I play to warrant a, a spot in this team or any team I go to? Um yeah, as I said, I've I've asked myself these questions millions of times. And I'm I'm not here to say I'm perfect, but if we was to break down every case of a club when I've been at, um you'd have to answer the question if it makes sense or not. And I've been at clubs and I think what the reasons behind me not playing or whatever isn't making sense you know what i mean like so what sort of things are the manager saying so you i, I know you you're pulling the gaffer so what what, what sort of things I are they saying i remember being at a club um i remember being at a club and um we're training we, it's pre-season we've done like a 12 minute run and i'm I've done all right i've like top six top eight in a 12 minute run i've done all right whatever the manager pulls me after I said, fuck me, dumb. I didn't know you could run like that. I was like, like what do you mean? Like, I, found, I found it like disrespectful. No, I didn't think you, you know, the way you play, I think, didn't think you could. Ah, right, cool. Whatever, whatever. This is like early in pre-season. When it comes to the start of the season, he started a player ahead of me. And then after two, three games, I've pulled him because I ain't come on. And I've said, why am I not playing? We've lost the last three games or whatever. Um, the guy's playing ahead of me hasn't scored or set anything up and he said um, I feel like I can trust him more like off the ball the same player that he's played ahead of is a guy that finished last in the 12 minute run like literally last so I'm saying so what, because he runs in a certain manner maybe animated or maybe I, everyone knows I'm, I'm very much laid back it that means you can trust him more. Because I said, unless you've got GPS and heart rate, well, you can't tell me you can trust, like he runs more than me or, and he was like, woman and Aaron and it's the next couple of games I don't play. But then when I, so after five games, I come on against, uh, I think, I can't remember come on. But I come on, scored, done, done well. From there, I play every game. And then the same player that, was playing is it playing he brings him on in a game and then he says says to him for you to play for me you need to get fitter so i'm saying do you not get how much of a like what well, make it make sense to me you know what i mean so you you played a man because you thought you could trust him more you took him out the team for me then when he tried to get back to him it tell me he's not fit enough but you can like is it do his football's um perception in it maybe my maybe my body language in terms of how I try to play or maybe even my manuals of how I run or even my, my opinion on football is seen as he can't do but cool you're what about outside of football where how you come into the change room things you're wearing like cars you're driving doesn't that don't you think that affects you? Because some some managers look at that. I think, I think, I think, I think that's bollocks. Don't get that. No, I've never drove a big car for one. Yeah, when I when I got a move from Wrexham to Scunthorpe, I didn't have a car. Um, so I went and got a car. I got Audi A5. I was twenty two, maybe at the time. I don't think that's a big car. Uh, I needed a car anyway, um. So that's the only big car I drove. Um. So if you if you judge me off that, then then boy, you judge me off that. I can't. I wouldn't, not get that car again because I don't feel. These are, 
a valid reasons for you not to play someone or not like someone. Do you know what I mean? Make it be about football. I don't think anyone can say the way I conduct myself around the training ground is unprofessional. Uh, I get on with everyone. I'm polite. Um, maybe a bit of a joker. If that's a problem again, I, I, I wouldn't change it because I don't, I don't see it. Again, maybe because I, when I see, when I watch it from a higher level, I, I look at it as, as fun. Football's meant to be fun and football's never meant to be like school per se. So for for me, as in, if I wear want to wear nice clothes to training, if you want to judge me off that, again, I, I wouldn't change it because I don't think these are real reasons, if that makes sense. If that's actually your reason, then fuck me. We're struggling because coming from a background of mine, I'm going to like to wear nice clothes. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna carry myself a certain way. You know what I mean? So it's, if these are factors, then so, so be it. I, I don't think for myself personally, I've, I go into football with a chip on my shoulder. I don't think I walk around like I'm the big I am. Yeah, so again, football just a game of uh, opinions. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, let's liven up. Let's liven up. Let's talk about the fun times, the perks. Let's get in that bag. Like, talk to us about or tell us about the going out, the girls, all of that stuff. Like, have you experienced that? Because I've been around footballers who, you know, like you're walking into a club, like straight bust the gate. Bust the uh, barrier that you're in. Uh, no, remember, I've never, I've never, I've never seen myself as a footballer because I've never got to a high level. Yeah, but you still, you still go out. Yeah, every, yeah, every youth team, everyone goes yeah, out. But I've never gone out on a, I play for, let me, I've, that's never been my thing. Right, but okay. You're not, you're not dropping out your name in your club, but you're still going out and you're spending. I've never, I've never bought a table in England in my life. No better. <laughs> No better. Mother's life. <laughs> oh, oh, Mo- <laughs> mother's life. No. Oh, right, my cool. mother's I've never bought a table in England. All right, cool. Never. You've never bought a table. No, but I've been but, around yes, I've been around it. I've been around it. And yeah, it's you know what comes out of life, isn't it? It's yeah, you know I mean it's typical stuff. You know what I mean? It's like birds, skin, the hanger on people, then it's just it's just it's, it's the game, innit? Like, it's just that, innit? Like, birds, wrong uns, kin. All right, cool. You're saying you've never bought a table, you go out, blah, blah, blah. But why, why is it that you feel, I follow you on socials, why is it that you feel you have to have the, the latest, or the flashiest designer? Because you're a man that dresses well and yeah. you pick the loud stuff. I'm pretty sure you put up a pink suit talking about, I can't wait to, to wear this. It's a fucking good suit, though, isn't it? It's a fucking good suit. <laughs> but no, obviously, obviously that, this is, that's just me, and I, I, I like to wear nice clothes. I've, you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, like, I don't know. I, li- I like to wear nice clothes. I like to have, I like to be in the latest things. Um, yeah, that's just, that's just, that's just me. I don't think that's because I've played football. That's just, you know what I mean? Maybe f- how man grew up, Big cousins, yeah, big homies. They want, you know, what I mean, you, you get story at a young age, and you kind of set yourself up to what you like in it. And from young, I've been bought flipping Gucci belts, Hermes belts, Dolce and Gabbana jeans, like Prada trainers. So yeah, I, I I've liked that from from young. But again, it's just like it's, it's, you know what I mean, it's that's just something I like. That's. That's yeah. That's that's a small percentage of me, Dominic Rose. You know what I mean? Are you are you still a flashy guy? I don't think I've ever been flashy, bro. I don't think I've ever been flashy, bro. You think? I'm not gonna say where, but somewhere there's a pair of <laughs> ball main jeans, and everyone knows they're not cheap in it. Like that is flashy. No, my miss pulled off me. 
<laughs> she actually bought, bought me for my birthday, fam. <laughs> actually bought it for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, no. I've got a couple pairs of ball main. But it's, it's just, I mean, it's... But, uh, okay, cool. You know, you say you're not flashy, but how do you maintain, like you say you've got the big homies and yeah, you've got your friends, everyone, yeah. everyone's rich nowadays, yeah, like yeah, socials, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So for someone who says you're not earning now, yeah. how are you be, how are you able to keep up with them? To be fair, I, I, I don't keep up. I don't keep up. I've got flipping clothes in the archives. Um, I don't, to be fair, I don't, I don't buy expensive Things like like I once did, you know what I mean. It, my my style's changed anyway, so I, but everything's I, expensive now though. No. A tracksuit, a tracksuit is minimum hundred pound. Yeah, in that sense, yeah, well, fucking, yeah. I don't, I don't say to that. Got to pay for your car. You got to pay. I ain't got a car. <laughs> Fuck you. No, nah, honestly, um, no, nah, I'm chilled at the moment. Like the stuff I wear, I'm, I'm, I've, I've, yeah, you know what I mean. Like all, all that buying ball mains, Dolce and Gabbana. We're talking fucking 012, 013, bruv. You know, these are just archives. Remember, fashion comes back around, innit? So people are starting to wear Dolce Yeah, but you still got to throw in a few newbies in that. Yeah, but my newbies, remember, I like to shop in it. So I shop around for things. I don't go and buy a top that says Dior in it. Like that's what's in at the moment. I don't wear that. I don't. I don't dress like that. So you football friends that you've developed along the way or that you've had from young. Yeah, yeah. You've got a few that still play. Yeah, yeah. Still play in the league and they're on hundred plus grand a week. Yeah. But then you go summer ball and you're as good as them, if not better than some of them. Surely that you're like you go home and they're driving home and they're like Range Rovers and yeah. and kin yeah all the big boys the big <laughs> the yeah. silly cars isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah surely yeah. that you're thinking ah, right, that, that should be me no of course um no I do think because it gives it gives me what was it about? like it gives when I play summer ball and I come away from it it gives me that piece say you know what Dom your levels like trust me your levels but then I ultimately they're living a certain way where you want to live like you know what i mean because you me be or i am i've still got a, a life ain't sweet in it you know what i mean you like to think because of the financial situation of life's sweet and you just think you do of course you do think oh, i wish that was me in a sense of yeah like i, I should no, i should be there because i know i'll we'll speak for myself i know how good i am and i know my level of work I, I work harder than you. You know what I mean? I like my off season. I'm grafting as much you, if not more than you. And I'm but so yeah. There's that level that it 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 f's with you sometimes. But again, it's I don't know, man. It's it's it, it is I don't know, man. Football's a game of luck and opportunity, isn't it? Like however you get through, you get through. I'm not here to look at I'm better than you. I work harder than you anymore. It's However you get through, you get through. You know what I mean? Because you don't know, you don't know what a man's doing behind closed doors to get to where they get, get to. So all it does when I play summer ball and I know I'm level, it just gives me a peace of mind and say, nah, Dom, you're, you're, trust me, your you're things, you're, you're good, man. You're, you're, you're stamped. There's, so the flip side of it, so you're, you've got a positive mindset, but does your flip side trigger, that, does that trigger your mental health on the flip side? <sighs> Yes and no. Yeah, because it's like, because it is. I look from point of view, me personally. What what's what else do I do? All I know is this. Like, there's probably other people in my situation, so I get how people sway off track and get caught up in maybe negative stuff. And because I get it, because I've put everything into this, and then just because you said. No, I, 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 I'm not where I need to be. And now, yes, it's easy to say, keep going, keep going, keep going. But how much time do you keep going before you say, you know what? Let me pack this in and consider other things. And yeah, it is a level of 
PTSD because it's like, it's like you put so much time and effort into something and majority of the time you're not financially compensated. You know what I mean? Mm. If you put, it's like, for example, if you put years, years, years into psych and then just because someone don't want you to get through for whatever reason, you don't get through. Now you're at a stage where you might, this is your main, football for a lot of people is the main owner. You know the money football. Now you're going to have to tell me, I've got to go and consider something else that is nowhere near this level of uh, reward. Mm. So it does fuck with you because it's like, brother, because you like to think if you put, I think most people, 25, 26, people put what? 10, 15 years into football. If you put 10, 15 years into anything, you'd like to think. You want your rewards, isn't it? It's a fact. Yeah. Like if you went, I don't know, if, if you've done 10, 15 years out of flipping, I don't know, an office job, you'd like to think you would have progressed. And especially if you're doing what you're meant to do, you'd like to think you're going to progress naturally. And now you're earning X, Y, and Z. With football, there's so many different factors. So you put 10, 15 years into it, and then just some man just don't want to play you. Like, for people that don't know football, they will say in the cliches, but well, obviously you're not working hard. You're not doing what you're meant to do. And da, da, da. even that plays in your mind because you you don't actually know. You actually don't know football. A lot of people that talk about football don't know football. I've, I've lived it. I, I, I train every day. There's so many things that go on. There's so many, when a manager doesn't want you, the way he treats you, all these things, but you're, you don't, that's what you don't speak about it because it's just like, it's part and part of football. But now, if that just stops tomorrow, it stops today, sorry, it's like, fuck me, what's next? And now you just think, that manager, that person, duh, duh, duh. and now it just triggers so much things in your head because the reality is no one cares. Now, we will still have to get paid. How do bills get paid now? So coming from a background, a London background, no, everyone's got bills to pay. Like no one's, no one's parents are rich. The, I, I, me, I got in football to obviously get to the top, but then that's how, that's how I was going to retire my parents. You know what I mean? My sister's a fucking um, single mum, but niece and nephew. How, how can I? I meant, I meant to look after them because I know my level of work should have, should do that. But now, just because you, pe the powers that be, don't, don't want me to get, through, don't want me to prosper, I just have to accept that and be like, all right, boom, let me just do something else. How? Like, I, 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 me personally, I don't know how, how you do it. Like, it's because it's a, it's a level of trauma, isn't it? Like you've, you, you, you've pursued something for the right reasons. You've given your work to it. Don't worry, if, if you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I wasn't good enough, or I didn't work hard enough. Then so, then so it go. But for me personally, I can't look myself in the I can, I can't look myself in the mirror and say, Don't, you didn't work hard enough. Or I know my levels, like people that know me, knows that man works hard, man, man's good enough. So now you're telling me I I can't get to where I need to get to and I've got to consider other avenues. That's a trauma in itself because now this is the pressure I put myself under. I meant to retire my parents. My my mum and dad's done well to get 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 what they've got in, in life. My dad was a fine mum worked in a school. Like normal people done the right for themselves, but mortgage still has to get paid. They might not, they, they probably won't do that in this lifetime. So that was for me to go and do. And with my talent and everything, I know, I know I should have done it and I can do it. And that's what keeps me going because I know I can. But then at the same time, when I say I'm tired, because how much more hurdles do the man have to keep going through to just uh, just to play football and just be happy? So it, it, it's yeah, like 
football's a trauma, man, because I think a lot of people see it as it's football, it's just a game. Mm. Like for myself, I don't know, innit? This is it's everything for me, innit? Like, like, if this, see my love for, if it was like, again, if it was a girl, you'd say, don't leave it alone, just walk away from it. Like, because it's not, it's not giving me enough back. Yeah. But because of love and because you know your level of talent, you stay in it. And probably wrongly because you put eat I put myself through the same trauma each and every time. The right times probably people have said to heard me say, I'm retiring. You know what I mean? Everyone's heard me say that a million times. Cause I'm literally tired, bro. Like, so it's like no, it's deep, man, it's deep. So it's for the people outside of football, they 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 have to understand. And they don't. And so, like, I, I've actually gone to cancelling over football. I've gone to it. And when I'm talking to the man, he says, The more we talk about is football. I said, Bruv, this is all I know. This is all I am. What are you outside of football? No, yeah, like, Dom's a cool you. Like, Dom's, Dom's fine outside of football. But if I'm not playing football, how do I change my situation? Again, coming from a background like ours, you, you, you have people that might do the other stuff and you can start, might maybe consider these things. And and this is what they don't understand. And that's why I say a lot of these managers need to understand where the person's coming from. You know what I mean? A lot of these managers probably don't see football the same as these, the kids. They see it as it's a job. Because again, it's a luxury. It's a luxury life. This is everything. Like, like everyone knows me. Look, I, I'm not going. I'm not here saying I'm, I'm not pleading, pleading pro, um, poverty. I didn't fucking miss meals as a kid. I, I, I grew. I grew up alright, but we also have to get paid. You know what I mean? My dad's done well for well for for me and the family. But as I said, there's still that next level to go and try and take the pressure off him, and with. Outside of football, how do I do that? You know what I mean? I ain't, I'm, I'm not no academic. I, I dropped out of school to play football. You know what I mean? I ain't got flipping... I got no GCSEs. So, what, like, what, 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 what do you do? I'm 26, 27. I'm young enough to still earn money from football. But what I've gone through in football makes me be at 27 to be like, oh, I could knock it on the head. But then, I can't knock it on the head because... Got no fucking. I got nothing from football. I got got no money in the bank from football, so you can tell me to just be a, a, a the delivery driver. You know what I mean? That's not a diss that anyone does delivery, but for me, that's not going to for what I want for myself. That's not enough. The only thing that would have given me what I want for is is a is a football because you, you know rewards from football. Mm. So it's 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 deep, man. It is it's a it's a deep game, and I think I think managers and I need to take time out and understand where the person's coming from. You know what I mean? People just want to change the situation, and when you deal with people all in a certain in a certain way, remember a lot of people won't be as mentally strong as me in football. So trust me, I know a lot of people have packed it in by now. So, managing to take time out and understand where the kids come from, what it means to them. You know what I mean? Because you, for me, this season's everything for me. For you as a manager, it's just another season. This season changed my life. I've gone from Wrexham to, to Scunthorpe, and then I didn't play a game. And since then, football just been a downward, a downward um, spiral. Yes, people are going to sit down and talk about, yeah, but Dom, what about you? What have you done? If you if we broke down my each and every situation at each at these clubs, I think we'll come to the conclusion and say, boy, Dom, you might have been unlucky still. You might have been unlucky. And that's why that's why I'm I'm comfortable with myself because as much as you say you say Dom might be a you problem, I'm comfortable with myself because I I know I know how I work. I know how good I am. And I don't think it's from a delusional place. You know what I mean? So that's why it's it's 
it's hard, man. You know what I mean? One in football, one move will mess up your career. And one move can make your career. These are the but these are things that keep you in football because that 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 fine margin is make or break. You know what I mean? You, I could say, all right, this season I can have a sick season, and if I can, I'm back in the league. Then this conversation is not irrelevant, but you, you get it. Mm. Then I have another good season. I'm fucking in a champ. I want eight, eight, ten, fifteen quid a week. Now I can start chipping off at my my parents' mortgage and. Do you know what I mean? Put my sister in a, in a different situation. Mm. You know what I mean? Look, look hard. You know what I mean? And that's where it's hard. That's why I would never tell people to knock football on the head. But I trust me, I do get where people before me said, I'm not playing football no more because it's long. Like mentally, physically, it's, it's, it's hard, bro. It's hard. I think, as I said, they, they like to just put it as just a game of football like for me it's been so much more than it's everything in it like you know what I mean like what, what else am I meant to do you know what I mean like respectfully what go work a nine to five nick, nick nick 60 quid a day like it's not a diss to anyone but for what I want for myself that's 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 not it that's not it and it's just, it's just a tough game, man. Football li- really is a a tough game. It isn't fucking all what you see. It's not all rosy. You know what I mean? It is a, it is a dark place. It's not... um Yeah, man, because the lower, lower leagues, you're down. You're actually not earning a lot of money. You're not you're not earning big money. People are, are can actually be working 9 to 5 earning more money than you. Yeah. Than you are in certain league clubs. Yeah, um... Do you think you failed? Do I think I failed? Mm. If it, ultimately we can say yes in terms of okay, did I get where I want to get to? No. So if it was black and white like that, I could probably say yeah. Do I look at it myself and say I failed? No, if that makes sense. Like I said, I, I can't. I can't look back at myself and be like, Dom, that is where you effed up. I, I, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but when I compare myself to others, I say, trust me, Dom, you, you, you was never some, you, you're not what, what you're fucking made out to be. And I'm, and I'm okay with that. So as I said, if, if it's a straightforward yes or no question, I think you probably, I think I could say I failed, but what I would get to. Um, but if I, if it, for a technical answer, no. Again, there's probably people that would have wished to do something I've done in football. You know what I mean? Trust so, me, trust me, there is. Um, yeah, man. It's just what, when you want something for yourself, you will never, you'll never be grateful until you're out of that situation, if that makes sense. When you're in it, you're not thinking about, oh, I'm in a good place right now. You're trying to get to the, the next bag. You're trying to get to the next stage. It's only until that you're done with it where you sit down and think about, oh, I'm grateful then. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear that. Um, but people are going to listen to this and think, wow, like, I want my son to hear this. Like, they're putting it, he's putting in his effort. He's, He's around all the, the pros on the hundred yeah. bags and he's still level headed. Yeah. Give what what would you say to the young up and coming wannabe Don Voses? Because there are some out there that don't know any don't know anything but football. It's hard, man. Do it is. All I say to these kids, yeah. Make sure just make sure you work hard. You work hard enough and you're good enough. That's like that's because I've spoke to plenty of loads of kids that be like, yeah, I'm not getting a chance. But then I might look at them, I'm looking at them respectfully. You're not working hard enough. Or you're not or you're not good enough. So just make sure you're doing doing that, and then wait, leave it up to the big man upstairs because I I couldn't tell you what to do to get through. You know what I mean? Just make sure you're working hard. 
and and you're good. And don't go wrong, there's always gonna be someone that fucking works hard than you. Do you know what I mean? That's but don't fucking don't half step. You know what I mean? If you're doing this, do this thing properly, and then if you get there or you don't get there, say boy, I tr- I tried my best. You know what I mean? Just don't half step, man. Don't give it your all. And make sure it means, means the world to you, man. If it don't mean the world to you, then then knock it on the head, bruv. Knock it on the head. Because for me, I only I only played it because it, it means the world to me. That's why I keep playing football. You know what I mean, bro? Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Um, And for all the young people that are listening, if you have a mindset and the talent that Dom has, you will, you should go far and you should play at a level that is suitable for you and stuff like that. But... Dom, thanks for coming on board. No, no dramas, bro. No dramas, man. Cheers, man. Good chat, man. Good chat. Every time, bro.